Hi guys, sorry I've not posted a video in a while, or I tried it, didn't upload and I accidentally deleted it, so yeah, I don't have that no more. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick video uh, to update Realborn Kimberly's progress. I am blushing her feet right now as we speak. I have her skin layers done. I've got the, uh, oh my god, those are perfect. Whew. Uh, I've got her first layer of mottling done. Not necessarily all of her mottling yet. I would still want her to have purple layer. But we're slowly but surely getting there, y'all. As I said before, I'm just blushing her feet at the moment. <sighs> I hate those little hairs that get all over your little babies, what's, whatnots. It's bothersome. But yeah, I'm just blushing away right now and uh... One second here and I will blend that out. I didn't like how that's doing right there. So there's her foot, and I know y'all can't really tell. That's probably the best. Oh my lord, that's not even that's not even good. Uh I don't know. I'll have to show y'all when it's good daylight outside. Or maybe if I turn this off. And you can get the natural, what's left of the daylight's image of her little foot. It's not gonna focus for me. Anyway, they're super cute, they're super blushed. Um, all that good whatnots. Get my lamp back on. Uh, her hands are blushed. Which, yet again, you can't really tell, and her skin's mottled. I'm not very happy with her veining, quite. But, uh, I think once I do the mottling, that'll fix that problem. I want to do her sweet spots, and I can't yet because I don't have, uh... have her purple layer done. Sorry it took me so long. I was listening to something outside. All these hillbillies. Lord, I love living in the south though. These hillbillies are the nicest people you're ever, you'll ever meet. So. Really they are. Uh. But anywho, if you guys haven't seen, there's a thing on Facebook of uh, Stephanie and Jackie Ortiz, they're um, wives, and they were on the news for their reborns, which I just found crazy because, I mean, what they were saying was true, you know, I mean, it's, it really is weird until you just kind of get used to it. So, uh, trying to blend that together. My dog's at the door, she wants out. So my room's so messy. She's not getting out, she thinks she is. She's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so there's her feet, those are nice and blushed. They're perfect. Owens aren't really, and you can see the difference, well you can't because <laughs> the lighting sucks. Owens feet are not as blushed. Um, excuse me. I'm about to do the purple mottling layer uh, on Kimberly here.
And wipe that off. And get that out and wipe that off. Okay. Now, for the purple mottling layer, I just use my uh, Genesis Premix. I have all my stuff in a bowl. My eyelid purple. That's not it either. That has to be. Eyelid purple. God, that took forever to find. Uh, and then I just have a smalling sponge that I've plucked little holes out of. So I'm gonna take this, get some of my paint thinner, which is mineral spirits. Wet it a little bit. Rinse that off. Just so paint will get on your brush a little easier. Okay. And I pretty much cover the whole brush. I kind of just swirl around in the bottle. Because I like it to be thick. I don't have to... So I don't have to go back and do another layer. Goodness. Come here. Come here. And this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. She will not leave me alone. Hers won't leave me alone so I can do my work and get this done. I love you. Look how cute. I love you. I'm yeah, sorry my room's a mess, guys. It's uh, in the process of getting clean, so. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and then basically, let's make sure I have it stirred every time I eat before I apply it to this, but actually, that is not thick enough. I'm going to add just a little more. And that should be pretty thick. Yes, okay. So there we go, that's much thicker. Thicker, much better. Thicker is not always better though. If you get too thick of like um, your skin tone color, that could go badly. And then I literally just take and slap across the uh, thing, dab it off a bit so it's not as heavy. And then I just start at the back of the neck. And you kind of want to alternate. Uh, where the sponge lands because you don't want the same exact pattern because if you have the same pattern all the way up the head that's going to look odd not look natural but that was my little uh, tutorial of the day so I'm going to uh, get off here and finish her and then I'm going to start my painting my Cameron kit and Josie was sold last night about 2 in the morning actually a woman paid for her so I uh, was very happy about that. Um, she was sold for uh, $250 plus 20 for shipping. So she was sold for a pretty penny. She's been the most expensive one I've sold so far. But uh, once my uh, real borns are all posted, they are all going to be uh, starting at the minimum bid of 200 because they will all be rooted. Eyelashes, eyebrows, and hair. And I'm not taking any less than two for them. So. Yeah. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And as you can see, you can see her mottling just a tad, even with the lighting being terrible. But uh, here's her little face so far. I've got her little blue undertones and whatnot. I try not to really go all across the face face with